My loves, I'm Shannon. This is Lifestyle Manifesting. On my channel, I am discussing manifesting as a lifestyle. Bring your life into the leveled up version of you. Be the architect and the deliberate designer creator of your life. Today, I'm talking about recreating your specific person. So how do you recreate your specific person? You do that by imagining that new version of them. So get clear on what that version of your specific person looks like. Okay, so you get clear, but take out a notebook. Oh, by the way, I do have a journal. It's a blank journal. If you need a notebook, everything I write in this journal becomes true. Um, this is linked in my bio, but you could take out a piece of paper and write down and get clear. What does the ideal version of your specific person look like? What does that look like? Start getting clear. What characteristics do they hold? What traits? What attributes? Um, are they, you know, so, so write those down. You're going to write down they're charismatic, they're charming, they're, they treat you like a priority, they're loving, they're kind, they're successful. What, what's important to you? Get clear on the, developing the version of them that you want to experience. Okay, so you do that by getting clear, by writing it down. Write down the characteristics, characteristics that you want in a partner and what that looks like. Just like the author of any novel would develop a character, develop the characters in your life, develop your specific person by getting clear on what, like, what kind of person are they? What do they think? How do they treat you? How do they treat others? What do they think about their own career and success? What do they think about their own life? The more that you get clear on that, that vision and that picture of what you want in your specific person, you'll create that. Okay, you could create it down to any any detail. You could create create the details of physical characteristics if you want. So you just start getting clear about those characteristics. And you may add more. Each day you may add more ideas of what you want in a partner because as you focus on this, you get more clarity about it. So intend to have clarity about what you want in a partner. So you're going to affirm that version of your specific person to recreate them. And you're, you're giving no importance and no attention to the specific person that, that is not in your list. Okay, you're, you're creating your list and you're affirming that list. And you're visualizing and you're imagining that version of that person. Now, if you're, if you, as you're recreating your specific person, you're also creating the version of yourself who matches, right? That the person that prioritizes yourself, you feel like a priority. So get clear on when you're recreating your specific person, you're also recreating and you're getting more clear on that version of you who is receiving, okay? That version of you who ha it is living that life. Get clear on how you want to be treated by your specific person. Then you're going to, it's literally like writing a story. It's like you're writing the story of your own life and you get clear on the story of your own life and you consistently affirm that story. You consistently affirm the story of you who has a specific person that's loyal and honest and kind, that treats you like a priority, that, that sees you as the ultimate, that sees you as number one, all right? So you wanna write that down and you write that story and then you, you persist in your mind with that story. So any way to persist, whatever works for you. If you wanna affirm that story each day, if you want to script it out each day, you could even just read what you wrote down and add more to it. If there's any more to add, you might have new ideas each moment in each day. And that's where you want to keep your focus until until that reality manifests. Okay, You keep your focus there until it manifests. If anything opposite happens, just you take your power back and you remind yourself, okay, this is, that's not the, the, the version, right? If it's the opposite, you're gonna say, that's not the version I want of them. Um, you could, it doesn't matter what you do in the 3D reality, okay? You can yell at them or you could say, say I don't want anything to do with you. And then in your mind, you're affirming the, ver the new version of them showing up. So understand, circumstances don't matter, but that's a deliberate creation. So deliberately create that circumstances do not matter, right? You have to know that circumstances don't matter and you remind yourself 
when that cir circumstance comes up and you think, oh no, did I ruin it? No, because circumstances don't matter. And then you affirm, okay, you have to replace it. You have to replace it with what you do want. You replace it with that, the vision of the ideal relationship that you want together. Okay, replace it with what you do want. You replace it with that, the vision of the ideal relationship that you want together. Okay, at some point, um, if you're, as you're affirming or reading your story, you might just feel like this feels so good. I know it's done. You might just read it or read it a little bit every day. You don't necessarily even have to affirm it every day because you'll know it. Your your understanding, your subconscious mind is is accepting it. Okay, when you're feeling like you don't have to keep affirming all day. Okay, you're you're accepting that reality that you're impressing on your subconscious mind. Um, I have in my merch these cups that these mugs that say I've got lucky girl syndrome, which is kind of fun. Um, if you want to wake up every morning and just look and remind yourself that, you know, what it's like you're creating your reality. You want to create a reality where you it's just like you have lucky girl syndrome. It's just a syndrome, right? It's deep in your core of who you are. All right. Hi. Touched by your soul. Rent is due in a couple of days. For the past two weeks, I've been affirming it's taken care of. How do I stay in that state of mind? Um, it's all working out. I mean, you you stay in that state of mind until it um, manifests and it reflects. Okay. J it, and it's okay if you feel anxious and it's okay if you feel worried because you can manifest while you feel anxious and worried. But can you also feel that it's done? You could also feel and know that your affirmations manifest. Your affirmations are manifest. Okay. You could say to yourself, I don't know how, but this is taken care of. This is done. And imagine. Okay. So go to the end imagining it's the end of May and you're like, wow, it all worked out. Right. Something something that implies it all worked out. So take yourself into a future moment from the present. You take yourself into a future moment. Maybe you go to the, the end of May or June and you just think back on April 1st, May 1st, June, July, right? You're going to be thinking about, wow, it all worked out. I'm, you know, so go in your imagination, and feel that or affirm it and just practice as though it's already in the past. It's already done. Neville Goddard has several of his um, success stories that talk about where the his followers or the, you know, the people that were following him, his success stories are telling people that manifested the rent being paid like by the next day, getting um, the one woman who wanted um, to go to her summer home and needed to rent out her city apartment. And for months, the realtors couldn't find anyone, right? So she went to bed that night imagining it was already, she, ima she went to bed imagining that she was in her new country home. And by the next day, that somebody came forward and wanted to rent it that day, wanted to move in that day. Okay, so things can happen that quickly. I mean, that's not the only example. I I see it in my my VIP group. I see it in um, through my followers. People are manifesting quickly. I'm manifesting quickly. Okay, so practice feeling it already happened. As you fall asleep tonight, feel. Can you feel a little bit of the relief? What would that feel like to feel relieved? Okay, join my free Facebook group. I feel like it's done. Everything. Uh huh. I could and live in the moment. I just it's it's done. It is done. Just trust it. You're the creator of your reality. <laughs> You're the creator of your reality. Remind yourself it's your reality is coming from your imagination. So whatever you rehearse in your mind is what what <clears throat> we experience in our reality. Keep rehearsing in your mind the the relief that it's paid. Okay, that everything's okay. Yep. Keep the faith. Okay, keep the faith because you're the creator. It's a guarantee. Okay, it's a guarantee. You can guarantee your own manifestation because it's your life and you're the creator. So just to keep, you keep telling yourself it's guaranteed. It might not feel that, you might say, yeah, but I don't know. No, just keep saying it because the more you persist in um, an affirmation, you're creating a new belief. It'll start to feel natural to say it's guaranteed. This is guaranteed. Okay, do you understand like the purpose of the affirmations is to have that thought and that experience more natural and more normal. So you want to naturally normal think, wow, this is guaranteed, right? Do you understand it is guaranteed 
as long as you create and believe, uh, you know, not, you don't have to believe a hundred percent, but you create that it's guaranteed. Just say, I know this is guaranteed. If you're in my, if you're in my, um, VIP, I'm um, not my VIP. If you join my free Facebook group, um, send, join my free group. It, the link's in my bio. I want to send you a link to Joseph Murphy. Some of his affirmations are powerful. And there was something I was listening to yesterday. It might be called The Master Key to Wealth or something that, that something in the title, but I, I'll look through my history and I'll send it to you. And I want you to listen to that because some of those affirmations, Joseph Murphy's affirmations are powerful. They are literally, they are so powerful. Okay, I use a lot of his affirmations. I, I've listened to so much of his um, lectures. I've read many of his books. So I just feel and know that he, he was a master at making affirmations. So listening to that video could help you kind of feel like that more of that confirmation, like, yeah, it is guaranteed. Okay, for beginners, do you think affirmations or visualization is more effective? I mean, they're equal. Affirmations are really pop. For me, I'm really affirming more than anything because it's actually also, I was already doing this before I found Neville Goddard. I just changed my thoughts about something and I saw that my world reflected it. So I knew that my affirmations and my thoughts were powerful. And something that confirms that is Neville Goddard says, the only technique, you could drop all techniques and the only thing you need to do is have inner conversations. Okay, because we're already doing that, right? Affirmations are essentially an inner conversation with yourself. So have an inner conversation. Saying the affirmations is what's creating your reality. We're already doing that. We're already walking somewhere going, we're on our way to a restaurant and we think, oh my God, it's probably going to be crowded and I hope I don't have to wait and I bet we're going to have to wait. It's a Saturday night, but we're going to have to wait. Okay, we're already creating those assumptions and guess what? Those manifest. If we start saying, hey, even if it's crowded, I always get in. They, I'm a priority. I always get the best treatment. If you create those beliefs and you have those kind of affirmations that you say, and you could create that reality where it could be crowded in the restaurant, but somehow you'll just be the next one to be seated. That's how re your reality can work. It is working that way already. <laughs> it's already working that way already. But if we're assuming, oh my God, we're going to have to, I bet we're going to have to wait an hour. We didn't make a reservation. I knew we should have. Okay, well then your reality will show you, you should have made a re reservation. <laughs> okay, because we have those beliefs that are, your, your reality is reflecting whatever you're thinking and contemplating and assuming and the sum total of your whole imagination and experiences. You, you, we had those experiences, but you could change your reality by changing and affirming something new and something different. You just rehearse it in your mind. I find it to be really powerful, especially for, really for anyone, but for a beginner, start with an affirmation. Because an affirmation is already going to, um, you're going to think, you're going to see a picture in your mind anyway. Now, visualization it can be really fun. I like visual, I like as I fall asleep, I like visualizing. I like visualizing being in my new car. I like visualizing being in that new, on that new vacation. Every time I go on a vacation, I just visualize it and I'm like, boom, it happens. Okay. I usually pull up a photo and I look at it. I go, oh, I got excited by the pictures, right? For a vacation or something. I'm looking at the photos, looking at pictures, looking at the, lo the location, the scenery. And then as I fall asleep, I'm like, ooh, I see myself there in the first person. Shannon, please tell us, please tell in action what can we do daily to change our 3D? Only affirming. Yeah, only if, okay, so if you're only affirming, what can you do to change your 3D? Just this one thing's going to be a huge change. Instead of thinking about what you don't want, you're just going to think about what you do want. You're going to affirm what you do want. And it's really about your own awareness. It's about observing your own thoughts and your own beliefs. So you have to have that awareness of what you're even saying or thinking. That's, that's really first step. Second step is now replace it because you may not realize that you're saying uh, the complaining, oh, I hate that. On the way to the restaurant, we're never going to get in. I don't know if we'll find parking. Parking's going to be outrageous. Guess what? All of those things will manifest. But if you start being aware and recognizing what you're saying and you start saying, you know what? We're going to find a spot. We're going to get a free parking spot. Oh, I live in the city, so it's like parking in the city is like, you know. Okay, so my old reality was I couldn't find a spot. 
I always had to pay for it. Okay, now I know, I just imagine that there's always a spot for me, no, no matter what. So like I created that intentionally. So what can you do? The one thing by affirming each day, just affirm what you do want. You don't even have to have re repetitive um, affirmations through the day. Just, it's like you're guiding, you're, you're steering the ship or you're, you're steering your life, right? Where are you going down the path of life? Wherever your focus is, is where you're guiding your life. Are you guiding your life to, eh, this isn't work, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm coming to this, you know, sometimes we have this belief like, I'm, I'm gonna be 30, and I want it, and, and I'm not married, right? It's like, I'm gonna be married, and I don't have this, and I'm not married, and I don't have a house yet, and all my other friends are getting married, and I don't, so that's all talking about what you don't want. That's all talking about what you don't want. And, and your reality just shows that. Or if you're dating someone, I always date someone that cheats on me and I don't know what's wrong. And I, I just want to find a, you know, then you want to switch. Okay, so th instead of talking about what you don't want, talk about what you do want. Okay, you know what? I'm th from the same example, like I'm hitting 30. This is my year. This is the year I find love or whatever year, you know, year 2023. This is the year of my engagement. This is the year I'm in a solid relationship. This is the year it's all happening for me. Everything's going to happen that I want in my life. My life is going right. Okay, life might be feel like, feeling like it's going wrong, but you have to redirect. No, it's going to be okay. It's going to go right. Things are going to get better. So that's what that's what you all that's what you do. And you will, you will dramatically change your life by doing that at least for 30 days because it, it won't take 30 days. It could take longer to have big changes, but you can have big changes very quickly just by focusing on what you do want and keep practicing it. Keep practicing it. So you could practice it in many different ways. Let's say you're out to dinner. You're at a restaurant tonight and the, the, waiter, the, the thing you want from the menu and the waiter says, oh, we're out of that. You could practice how, you could practice your power and you could affirm I bet they're you say okay and you order something different but but you could still in your mind affirm no I bet they're going to have it I bet the waiter's going to come back and tell me and the waiter's going to tell me that they do have it for me and you could affirm something like that to practice and see that you're the operant power okay so watch the waiter come back and tell you hey guess what we do have one more we do have one more if you still want that original order. Okay, this is these are ways you could test your reality. And sometimes you may not get the reflection back right away, but you have to persist. Okay. Okay, love and more. I had hot and cold behavior. Then I put myself on a pedestal. We have no contact right now. Okay, well, keep yourself on the pedestal. Hot and cold behavior. Let that be not part of your your uh, conversation anymore. Okay. Now start talking about what you do want. I'm on, from the first person, right? You talk to yourself in the first person. You know what? I'm a great, I'm a great catch. See yourself on the pedestal. See yourself as desired and chosen and wanted. Like, can you close your eyes and just imagine that? Imagine that you're a magnet. You are a magnet. You're a magnet for your person. You're a magnet for your desire. And you gotta keep practicing that. And you have to disregard and pay no attention to anything that's happening that you don't like. You pay no attention to that. You can just notice it and say, okay, that, it's still happening. I don't want that, that I haven't heard from them. Okay, but remind yourself that you're the operant power and you need to keep putting your focus on the goal, you with your desire is the goal. So you gotta keep your focus there. The whole idea behind affirmations is having the mind to see images of them. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can hear that, but my son's in the other in another room playing some video uh, VR headset game, so he's <laughs> screaming. <laughs> so ignore that. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. The whole idea behind affirmations is having the mind to see images of them. You are you are thinking in pictures right? Your subconscious mind is already thinking in pictures. So as you say an affirmation, you're picturing it. You can if you want to practice your visualization. I have um, because I found it really fun to practice visualization and get better at it. Yeah, I'm going in order and I'm, I usually answer like a longer drawn out answer. But I want you to know that no matter what I'm answering, no matter what questions that I'm answering, it applies to you. It doesn't matter what the desire is, okay? Because 
you could use the same technique for any desire, whether I'm talking about money, any material object, a person, job, anything, right? Health, it's, it's the same way. It's the same process. Okay. Any tips for not checking SP's social media? The tip is that you're gonna take your power back. You're gonna decide to take your power back and level up who you are. You take your power back, level up you, and you put all your focus on you. You're not going to check their social media because that implies that you don't have your desire. Is that what you wanna do? Why are you gonna waste your time doing that? Because you do that and you just, that's just gonna be, that's, that's your reality. Because when you're in a relationship, you're not checking your, your partner's social media. You're not checking their social media. You're not checking. The intention behind it is not, let me see what they're doing. What if I see them with someone else? What are, what are you thinking and feeling? Because why you want to you want to check? And then what are your other thoughts around it? Because that's just a big mess. So is that enough? <laughs> is that enough to know that? You'll keep creating it if, you, if you're checking their social media. Okay, here's what you can do. If you, you, you could, so you have to practice having a different feeling and thought around checking their social media. You could check their social media from the play. It doesn't mean you never look at their social media, but you have to have a different feeling and intention behind it. Okay. So if you check their social media, this could be a practice, right? So you pull up the feed and you see their, their details and you want to imagine from already being in the relationship. Imagine already being there. So this would also be practicing that you see good things on the feed. <laughs> good, good, the photo, like you could practice that. If you're totally triggered, I'd say don't check social media. If you're, if you feel like you're ready and you want to practice checking their social media from a new intention, then go for that. You got to, then you have to practice seeing something different. So practicing something different means practice seeing them just happy practice seeing a picture of them and a picture of you even though it's not posted but you could just imagine you see the two of you together on their feed right so you practice and go to the end of the reality that you want all right so let's talk a little bit about your your um how your reality is manifesting instantly already your, your reality is manifesting based on your own thoughts and perceptions of, about how reality works. Okay, so start creating new perceptions and new beliefs around your reality. Start, you, you don't want to say someone's not really there, okay? What you're going to say is, I'm the creator and I'm creating this reality. Your, your imagination is the cause and everything else is the effect. Okay, so you're the cause and the world's the effect. You're the cause and people in your reality are in your reality, everyone's a projection of you. So you have to keep rehearsing what you want consistently until reality reflects that projection. And the reason why self-concept and perceiving yourself from the self, perceive yourself in a certain way, perceive yourself as loved and chosen and adored and confident and the one who everyone wants to date. When you change your perception of yourself and you level up how you see yourself, your world's gonna reflect that. So you change how you see yourself, the world will just naturally reflect how you see yourself. This is exactly why I put my self-concept course together I created that based on my success stories, my client success stories. The reason I created that was because so many people wanted to be able to do that on their own and to be able to go into your imagination and create your ideal version of self. If you want, the link is in my bio um, at the top. Click the link on my bio. Master your reality by mastering your self-concept. Master your self-concept. This is why my clients are having success because they, they master who they are. They master the vision of how they see themselves without needing the validation of the 3D reality, okay? You have to see yourself with your desire. You practice that, you rehearse that. It becomes your reality. Right now, you're already practicing a reality. You're already, you're already rehearsing things that will be manifest in your life. So what are you rehearsing and what are you thinking about? That's why I created a blueprint. My course is a blueprint for you to keep practicing and affirming, go into your mind and affirm that version of you with your desire. <laughs> Sonia, thank you. 
on hot and cold behavior last night. I got so mad at the 3D yesterday, uh, at the 3D, ended up blocking him. Okay, yeah, it's fine. You blocked him. Now, go, now just tell yourself it's okay. That's what you needed to do because sometimes we need to do something. Everything, even though it doesn't sound like how would it work, if you say everything I'm doing is right and I'm, I'm, I'm exactly on the right path, okay? It might feel like you're not on the right path, but you keep affirming, I am on the right path and I'm doing exactly what I need to do to, for, for me to have my own manifestation. Why do you want to say that? Because you will be creating that reality as you say that, as you consistently say, I'm on the right path. I can't get it wrong. I'm doing everything right. It's all working out for me. You'll see a reality because your deeper knowing that the, the deeper knowing within you is you know what your desire is and you know what that desire that you want. So you focus on knowing and saying that you're on the right path and it's all working out for you. Okay, now what do you want to do? It's all working out for you. Now go to the end. We'll go to the end of affirming you want hot behavior, right? You want that behavior where you're a priority and your SP is in love with you. Do you want them to be in love with you? They're in love with you. There's loyalty, devotion, commitment. Then, then go to the end affirming that. Okay, Melissa, he invited me to hang out, then flaked when I was trying to call and get, get an answer. Like he invites you, maybe you didn't hear some, something. Did you start wondering what's going on? And then you tried to call him, then you didn't hear anything. And then are you, assume, are you saying to yourself, what's going on? Did he flake or did he, t did he tell you he flaked? Either way, it's all coming from you, okay? You have to go into your mind, right? Trace your thoughts. Trace back to what you were thinking. Trace back to what you were assuming. Were you worrying? Were you doubting? Did you think? Did you have thoughts and worries and doubts? Like, does he like me? Is this going to work? Um, you know, did you have those kind of worries and doubts? Because that's, what's, that's what reflected out. So go back and trace the thoughts you had because you will see the causation is you. So what can you do right now? Here's what you could do. Like, let's say um, you could even use like revision or you can replace that memory. You can imagine that he didn't flake out, right? You can imagine that he does answer because why would you want to do that? Because you practice that he answers. You practice that you have communication. You create that for your future. Whatever you're rehearsing in the present moment, you're creating for your future experience. So what do you want to create as your future experience? Do you want, because whatever we're doing in the present moment is creating our future experience. So do you want to keep thinking about how he flaked and then your friends ask, hey, whatever happened, did you go out on that date? And then you're telling your friends he flaked and now you're, the whole story is all around him flaking and then what you're, you're making new, new assumptions, okay? If you're doing all that, you're creating that and he has to reflect that. But if you... Remember that you're the creator and in the present moment, whatever you're affirming and what you're talking about and what you're rehearsing is what you're creating for your future experience. So you need to rehearse something new in the present moment. He's going to call me. Work on your self-concept. Of course he's going to call me because I'm a goddess. See yourself as a goddess that's irresistible, that you're a head turner. Or that you just, you know, whatever you want it to be, right? Do you want to be a head turner? Do you want it to be that you have this love that just radiates out? It's like you're a magnet that you just attract anyone and anything <laughs> into your life. Really, anyone and anything because you could attract any desire into your life. So remember, what are you talking about in the present moment? Are you talking about he flaked out on you? When I say talking about, I mean, is this the story that's running in your mind? right? Is it just playing over and over? Or are you creating what you do want? So this is why it's really important. I mean, if you if any of you follow Dr. Joe Dispenza, he's always talking about break the habit. He's got the book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. You got to break your ha break, break the habit of being the old version of you. Break the habit of thinking the, the past has anything to do with the future or the past has anything to do with the present. That past of him flaking out has nothing to do with what you can be creating right now, but you think it does. So you break that, break that belief, change that belief, 
decide the past has nothing to do with the present and the future. Now you create right now. Okay, so hi, how do you make your SP do what you want? <laughs> you affirm it. Let's say you want your specific person to buy you flowers, then you would be affirming. You'd be affirming, I love that. Let's just say he, right? I love that he's always buying me flowers. I love that he bo bought me the most beautiful bouquet. And you would affirm that, okay? You want your specific person to take you on trips and pay for it? You could create that reality. So what would you say? Just, just imagine what, you, you would, you, what should you affirm if you want that? Well, also you could do, you could take some action in your life. The action step could be, you could go on your computer and start looking up where, what are places that you want to go. And you could start speaking to yourself as if your specific person already does that. I love that we always go on trips. I love that he loves to take me to all the beautiful places I love going. And then you affirm that consistently. Okay. Okay, love and amour. Um, how to use my power to get him to reach out? Okay, then you speak to yourself. <laughs> Start with your self concept. Start with your, do you, okay, if I ask you right now, like, would you call him or text him? Would you reach out to him right now? Would you reach out to him? Why don't you reach out to him right now? What do you feel? Do you feel like, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so here's what you can practice. I want you to practice that you're reaching out to him. Practice that you're reaching out. I want you to pull up your phone and imagine you texted him saying, I just love your smile. I love when we're always talking. Just you're going to, going to imagine that you're texting. Okay, it doesn't mean that you have, it's, it, does, it doesn't mean that you have to, to, uh, be the initiator and text them first you're practicing releasing any worry because if i said why don't you text them right now how did you feel if you felt anxious and worried and unsure then you should definitely practice this because you got to practice the the ease and the flow of communication and the assumption of course you have to practice of course i'd text him and now practice that. Yeah, I would say, I love your, you're so strong. Your arms are so strong or something, right? Just imagine you're texting something. You're already opening the door for him to text you back. You are opening the door for him to text you back by doing that. You're practicing and rehearsing that reality. And you also could be re releasing any resistance you have to the worry that, would, you know, I'm not going to text him. I want, I want him to, to reach out to me. Okay, so you got to get over that feeling. Okay, and then you're, you're consistently practicing in your mind. Of course, you go to self-concept. Of course, he wants to text you because you're a goddess. Okay. If you need help leveling up your self-concept and if you want to be see the success in your life and level up my self-concept course, I have success stories, so many success stories from that course because you just have to get in the mind of that version of you. Okay, Or join my VIP group. I have a monthly subscription group and that group we are leveling up on every, on every topic. Okay, I want them back, Shannon. Um, how do I have him on a time crunch? I don't want to acknowledge my circumstance at all. Yeah, you don't have to acknowledge your circumstance. You want to practice as if it's already done, okay? Just like an actor would get on stage and act the part that it's literally that's what you're doing. You, you are like an actor. So just think. Like, can you start to develop the feeling that you're living, you're in your, where, wherever you're at, let's say you're in your living room or you're in your bedroom right now. Could you feel that you just stepped onto sta the stage of your life? This is literally like theater. We're like living theater, okay? So you have to practice that version of you. So imagine right now, you're like, okay, we're already together. How could you feel that even though you're not physically, how could you feel you don't have to feel like there's a, a body or energy. You could. You could feel like there's energy. Their energy is in your room. Feel like it's already done. 
it's already done. There's a feeling inside of, okay, I, I think a good example is also someone who, let's say there's um, a woman and her husband's in the military. And the woman, her husband's not with her all the time. He's in the military. He could be gone for months. But that woman knows that she or he is her husband. She knows that there's a knowing. It's not like he's there and they're not together. Okay, so feel the difference. The difference would be, this is just the feeling that you could cultivate within. Cultivate the feeling within of being together already. I mean, you're the creator. So everything's coming from you. It must manifest. You're rehearsing it. It must manifest. Okay. But I, but this, this is going to help you release the feeling of the anxiety and the worry and stress about not being together. Okay. So practice how, practice how that would feel. Practice how that feels to be with someone, even though they're not physically with you. Like that, the wife of that soldier knows that's her husband. She's not stressed about it. She's not worried about it. She's like, I know that's my husband. Or, or anyone who has a, a partner that travels for work, they're like, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter. They're just not together 24-7. There's a different knowing of, yeah, I got this. It's mine. It's yours, so move on with your day. <laughs> Go live your joy. Go live your bliss. Do the things you do through your day, knowing it's done. Not thinking about what do I need to do next? Here's what you don't do. What do I need to do next? What, what should I do right now to get this? What is that all saying and stating? I, maybe I should have meditated again. Maybe I should affirm again. Okay, all of that is feeling and saying that you don't have it. There's, there's a, a feeling of separation, a feeling of trying to get something that you don't have. In order to manifest something, you're cultivating a feeling of having it already because you do have it. So actually, you go to, you go deeper to the core by knowing you're the creator and by, by talking to yourself about being the creator. You're the creator. So affirm that. I'm the creator. This is all a creation from my imagination. I'm first cause, right? These are the thoughts that you would have. I'm first cause, so it must manifest. Okay? And then just start saying, I'm someone who manifests on a time crunch. I manifest instantly. I manifest overnight. It happens so quickly for me. I know how to do this. I'm so good at this. I know exactly how to manifest a specific person. I know exactly how to manifest everything I want. You want to state the things. You're stating and claiming the reality, that, the, the reality that's already existing. You're practicing that reality. It's already existing. It's already within you. All of creation exists. Everything is existing. So start to see a broader picture of reality and stop looking at the limited perspective of what the uh, old life, your old life used to be. Can I still manifest my ex even though he's in a two-year relationship? Yeah, you can manifest any. You, you, you created that reality. You understand you aligned with a reality where... You're, the person that you want to be with is in a relationship with someone else. It's coming from you. You created it, it unconsciously or um, you didn't intentionally create it, right? Because we create reality. We were cre you're creating reality based on beliefs and assumptions and how you feel and how you think reality works. It's not that there's any kind of blame about it, You create about the things we created, the power and the knowing and the understanding is that you can create what you truly want. Okay, so go to the end. Don't think about the circumstance. Don't think about all that you what you mentioned because none of that you don't want to. It's not important. It's not relevant for the reality that you want to create. So go to the end and start thinking instead of thinking he that it's an X. Start saying. He's not your ex, right? Start living in the end of already being together. Start living in the end of the version of you who's chosen. That you choose yourself. You decide to validate yourself, choose yourself, and to feel wanted. Okay? And then he's going to reflect that. It'll just naturally unfold. I do... I needed to see third-party posts. Thank you. <laughs> oh, those the third-party posts that I did... Yeah, I did two of them, I think, in the last yesterday and today, if you didn't see them both. Okay, so those third-party posts are really good ones for you. 
I have more than enough money. Money loves me. I'm always taken care of. I'm always provided for. Beautiful. These are great affirmations. Imagine money raining on you. How to recreate SP like the new version while also make it, making it about you. So you create the version of, the, of your new specific person. You make it about you because you see a version of them who treats you like a priority. And then you think about how you feel in relationship to that, right? You would, when you know your specific person sees you as a priority, you feel like a priority. So that's how you relate it and make it about you. So it's about making it about you. Feel a priority, feel important, feel like you're number one, feel like you're someone that they are dedicated to. So you're really re you're creating the, the, the relationship for both of you. You're creating the version of you and then he's going to or he or she, right? Your SP will reflect that version. So so I did start this video talking about um, recreating your specific person, right? Think about like the ideal version of them, the ideal version of you. I mean, there's really three aspects to this. The, the, the version of them, the version of you, and the dynamic of the relationship. When you get clear on those three things, it's like, you got it. You got it. You've got like an ultimate relationship. You understand relationships will always grow and you'll have newer ideas and you'll you'll manifest bigger ideas and broader ideas so so that will always continue to grow but you you could have a starting point right where it's already like an incredible relationship i've been affirming my sp and his cousin texted <laughs> is this normal movement yes it is okay vicky um you've been affirming for sp and the cousin his cousin texted is this so it, it, it is normal uh, because you, well, here's what you want to say to yourself, because this is, this can feel, I'm not saying it's normal in every case. Your world is reflecting that you've been affirming, okay? And you've been affirming the SP. And, and, and a message came from like a path of least resistance, the cousin, that you probably could care less, <laughs> could care less about, right? So just you create create the meaning behind that. Yes, it's movement. Yes, it's showing you that you're the operant power. Yes, it's working. And you start it with that first. Start with knowing like, yes, it's working. And then go back, keep living in the end with you and SP. Keep living in the end of you as like, you're this goddess, right? You're just like, wow, breathtaking. That version of you, right? Can you just feel yourself like you're breathtaking or you radiate this love that he, that SP is attracted to? What if he already dumped, dumped you? That, then it does, it's, I mean, you can manifest anything. The reason he dumped you is because of you. Okay. So go back in, into your thoughts and think about what, what worries and doubts, what, what were your thoughts about the relationship? Did you feel unhappy? Did you feel resentful? Did you feel like you loved him, but you were resentful? I mean, all these things, you trace the, your, the, the path of your thoughts because you created your own reality and your reality, it's you 100%. So if you dumped him, you can bring him back into your world. Okay. You bring him back into your world by affirming and going to the end of the version of you in the relationship. What would you, what, what thoughts would you have? What would you be saying? What would you be feeling? What do you guys think of our new, um, I've got the lucky girl syndrome coffee cups. How can I undo something I did like delete it? Yeah, delete it all. Okay, um, you can use revision. If you did something, uh, there's many ways to look at it, right? First of all, in your reality, it's only you and your perspective. In your reality, everything is a projection of you. So you have to think of yourself in your own quantum bubble. It's like you're in your own layer of reality. Even though there's all these people co-creating, there's infinite versions of you, infinite versions of everyone in your reality, okay? <clears throat> Look a little bit into quantum physics to, to back this up and to see the perspective, okay? Because I don't have time to do that here. I'm going to get going pretty soon. So remember, it's all coming from you. If you want to undo something, you can revise it. Use revision. You could also just t tell a different story, a different perspective about it, okay? You could do something that was kind of terrible or terrible, but you could spin a good meaning around it. 
You could spin the, a meaning around it that you're forgiven. You could spin the meaning around it that you're still supported and you're still loved and and ever and that, and that it's okay. Um, you could spin some, you know, it's just like, it's about you changing your perspective, perspective of the situation. Okay, if you want to delete it, you really just have to put you you have to replace it and put your focus on that new story. Because even in the in saying, how do I delete it, you're still having it's still there. It would still be there if you're saying I have to delete it. Okay, so you need to replace it and you replace it consistently until it's reflecting back in your world. Neville Goddard has a lot on revision and revision is really just the same as reaffirming the current reality of what you want. So in a way, I don't see that much difference between revising just feels like you're going into the past. I do find it powerful to go into the past. So and you practice, you, you rehearse what you do want so that it transfers and translates into your future experience. Do you understand the, but the repetition? Because you need to have some repetition around this changing the story. You have to, because the world could still start to reflect back the old story, but you have to be disciplined enough in your mind to not really care. Like you could just say, you know what? It's all is forgiven. Starting on a clean slate today. You could do that. Sometimes it's it feels easier to do something that feels a little more um, like kind of logical. <laughs> okay. How can I manifest getting the job I want, even though I don't have the best resume? Well, you don't need, you need to change your perspective about your re resume. If you think that you don't have the best resume and you don't focus on that, focus on what is like, what are your, what, what are your qualifications? Even if you didn't have the qualifications, you can get the job, but you have to see a new perception of yourself. So it would be something like, I'm valuable and people see my value. And I'm the, I'm the kind of, per right, I'm giving you I am affirmations for you to think from this version of you. So um, I'm valuable, people see my value. They know that I'm the kind of person that will get the job done. If I don't know the answer, I'll always figure it out. I'm someone who communicates really easily with people. I connect with others so perfectly, so easily, and it always just flows. Like during an interview, the, the conversation flows and it's like, that, that person just wants to hire me, okay? It's really about the confidence of yourself, create that. And you can you can really get any job you want. You could get a job that I have clients getting jobs they're not even qualified for because it's it's not that they get a job and they're not qualified. They get into that job and they're guided to be qualified. Okay, so you could get into any job and be be guided to be qualified uh, qualified for that position. It's about your perspective of yourself. I've missed my SP more recently. Uh, can it be because he thinks about me? Absolutely, he's thinking about you. Okay, he's thinking about you, but at the same time, I want you to think that, but there's something else I want you to shift to, okay? Because you don't want him to be missing you and thinking about you, that's that's okay. Okay, but you wanna just, you wanna, you wanna be in, in the end, in the relationship, okay? He's happy. He's not missing you. He's happy. That's the end. That's being in the end of the relationship. Sure, people want to manifest someone to miss them. And you could have linear time steps that lead to the manifestation. So I'm not saying you can't do that. I'm just showing you another way. Okay. I want you to, the, the, showing you this other way, you're going to have some light bulbs all, also. Instead of missing him, just start seeing SP happy. He's happy. And then, like, imagine he's looking at you. He's smiling at you. He's happy about you. Of course he's thinking about you because you are li live in the end of already being together. And then consistently affirm that version of you living in the end. Okay, guys, it's kind of getting dark and I don't have any lights on in here. I got to go. Go get ready for dinner. So I love you all. You are powerful. If you want additional help, I have so many ways to work with me. Join my free Facebook group. It's a great community of a manifesting community. Remind you that you're the operant power. Remind you that circumstances don't matter. Remind you that you can manifest anything. If you want to level up, you can join my VIP group. That's a monthly subscription group. It's $35 a month. I go live with Q&A. It's a community. It's powerful. There was so many success stories, so many amazing transformations. And like I said, those of you that want to work on your own, my self-concept course is 
a powerful course, Master Your Reality by Mastering Your Self-Concept. Be Like level up the version of you and you will manifest all your desires. You are going to manifest your specific person. You are going to manifest those desires. And this is a skill. So you want to, this is a, a mental discipline, right? A skill. So you have to practice this consistently. That's why being part of a community, it will be very powerful because as you're part of a community, it's helping you remember who you truly are, helping you remember that you have that power within you, okay? Like when, you know, when the, the, the 3D, you forgot you, you were the operant power and you're, you know, spiraling, that kind of community can help you stay on target and transform your life. So you guys are powerful. Have an amazing night and I will see you. I'll be live tomorrow sometime. Love you.